Good day, folks. Thanks for tuning in to my video. Um, I apologize for my first video. The articulation probably wasn't the greatest. It was my first attempt at it. and um, But anyway, I'll get better. For what it's worth, um, I've got 30 years experience in the commercial transportation industry and in the oil and gas exploration, blue collar side of things. 10 to 15 years. It's pretty well how I've spent my entire working career for what it's worth. I'd like to give a tip of my hat to Excalibur, to Ryan, the independent investor, to the Wall Street engineer, Silent Alert, and Sober Trades. Thanks for all you guys do. One thing I will promise is I'll speak from the heart and I'll use my brain as a filter I might shift gears from time to time during my videos, and sometimes I might even go into neutral, but I'll do my best. I'll only post videos when I feel I have something beneficial to add to the conversation with Hylion. Now, with today's video, the reason it's called a realistic solution for a noble cause. So, we all know that, uh, that the goal is to create, to produce, to manufacture, to implement into society a greener commercial transportation product. Hylion does that. They have a realistic product for a noble cause. Now... I'm going to talk a little bit about what I drive as a personal vehicle. I drive a 2011 F-250 pickup with a 6.7 liter power stroke diesel. It came with the emissions uh, system in it. The DPF filter, uh, the DPF fluid it needed to take. I deleted that system. You might ask, well, if... I'm, if I'm interested in, and, and I believe in the cause that Hylion is, is on to, to produce uh, greener transportation, why would I delete the system that supposedly helps to put less pollutants into the environment in my pickup truck? Well, it's like this. Governments sometimes have good intentions, sometimes have good intentions, but they hardly ever have good solutions. With my pickup truck, before I deleted the emissions control system from it, I was getting approximately 13 miles to a gallon. Since I deleted it, I get about 24 miles to a gallon. So to put, put that in perspective, I'm saving a great deal on, on diesel fuel production. I'm using less diesel fuel. Good for the environment. From, from right from the get-go, from the crude oil, right where it begins, right to the tailpipe, from, 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 uh, for the entire life cycle. So that in itself goes to show that the solution to the problem isn't always isn't always the one that governments and uh, virtue signalers come up with. So by doing that, I'm I'm gaining almost 100% increase in my fuel mileage. So I'm burning far less diesel fuel. I'm putting far less pollutants into the environment. Not to mention when my when my diesel fuel when my diesel pickup truck emission system was in place, I had to put in a couple of jugs a week of DPF fluid. These, these jugs of DPF fluid come in plastic containers. Large plastic, thick walled plastic containers. Not just for pickup trucks, but for heavy-duty trucks, there's millions of those, millions of those containers being discarded. So, the amount of plastic 
that I'm saving by deleting the emission system out of my pickup truck is huge as well. So you got to look at solutions to problems in the entirety, not just the small picture. I'm going to, I'm going to hop out. I'm in my work truck. I'm going to hop out of it here. And just for people that don't know, I'm going to take one of these containers out of the side of my truck. I'm going to show you how large it is and how much plastic these put into the environment. That's the container right there. 9.46 liters. So by deleting my my emission system in my pickup truck, not only am I saving on the amount of crude oil and diesel that's produced due to the 100% almost increase in my mileage, I'm saving on the amount of plastic that goes into the environment. So when we look at the solution to this problem, it's a noble cause. Greener energy for the commercial transportation industry. Hylion has a real solution, a realistic solution. And we all know that reality trumps bullshit. And over time, bullshit decomposes and falls by the wayside. So that's kind of the gist of my video today. So do your own research on the solution for the entire life cycle of the intended goal. Not just what's coming out of the tailpipe. It's like, I'm sure everybody watching this video watched the, uh, the presentation that the World Economic Forum, that those seven or eight guys, High, uh, Thomas Healy included, were sitting having a discussion. And if you didn't notice, you probably did, but if you didn't, you probably noticed that arrogant, condescending prick sitting beside Thomas Healy. And at one point, he looked at Thomas and he said something to the effect of, yeah, but your solution doesn't solve the problem of tailpipe emissions. And it kind of caught Thomas Healy off guard. And I was thinking to myself when I watched that arrogant virtue signaling prick, it's too bad Thomas Healy hadn't said something to the effect of, no, but it sure does a whole lot more benefit to the overall emissions reduction problem than your mass pollution produced by generating the electricity needed to charge a commercial vehicle a couple of times a day with your solution and the amount of pollution, massive amounts of pollution that are generated by the production of the huge battery cells that are required. So put that in your pipe and smoke it. Anyway, I'm sure Thomas Healy was thinking that and he thought about it afterwards. But I just wanted to put that video out there to say, just because really, really, really self-entitled, intelligent, so-called intelligent people are telling you the only solution is BEV. It's BEV or nothing. That's bullshit. And bullshit eventually falls by the wayside because the solution to the problem is found in the Hylion products immediately. Anyway, that's all I got for this video. You got to think, you got to dig deeper sometimes and look beyond the surface of what's just taking place. And I wanted to use that little analogy with my pickup truck because, because my pickup truck solves, it, it sort of provides an example of saying the solution to the problem isn't necessarily going to be, going to be decided by, by governments and policies and virtue signalers and everything like that the bullshit will fall off to the side and the real solution will come to the forefront as i said deleting my emissions control system in my, in my pickup truck not only satisfied the fleet owner being me 
the pollution that I'm that I'm emitting it emitting into the atmosphere is cut in half because I'm getting almost twice the mileage. The plastic that I'm generating by using them those jugs of D DPF DEF fluid a couple of times a week is gone. So you got to think you got to think outside the box a little bit and realize the solution to the problem is not just the virtue signaling all electric or nothing. So I give you that folks and that's about it and then again thanks for watching. My videos, I'm, I'm only going to put a video up if I think I got something that's interesting and valuable to say. And uh, that kind of kind of gives it a different way of thinking, a different way of looking at, different perspective. Again, I'm not a professional investor. I'm not really a prof I wouldn't call myself a professional anything other than I've got a professional work ethic. I've got that from my father and my grandfather and their grandfathers and my forefathers and and all of that. I'm I'm determined. Uh, I seek out knowledge. I, I get those attributes, and I will I'll do my best to contribute to the cause. I appreciate you checking out my video. The few guys that did, and uh, yeah, I'm not saying to buy Hylian, sell it, or do whatever you want to do, but I do believe in the product, and that's that's what's helping me ride out the wave because I believe in the product not necessarily the stock I'm not a stock market investor I'm not an expert at that but I believe in the product and if the product succeeds the company will succeed and uh, and all of us as part owner owning the stock we will also succeed we got to ride the waves we got to ride the downs and we got to take the ups when they come and I really believe they will Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Again, let's go, Hylian. Thank you.